I think you've got two huge problems. You, you've got a complete breakdown of security in, in the country, particularly in the commercial capital, Abidjan. And since the election was held last November, approximately 600 people have been killed uh, in militia clashes, sniper fire, and so on. Uh, that's in the capital alone, and uh, th then this week uh, there have been further revelations of killings on, up on the western border, uh, perhaps another 500 to 1,000 people dead there. There's a feeling that there's no law and order, no police force, no, no neutral army. That's the first crisis, and the other crisis is the, the economic one. You've got cocoa piling up in the, the ports unshipped, uh, and you've got a complete breakdown of the banking system. So whoever takes over after this crisis is at least temporarily resolved. You've got two huge uh, crises to deal with. Uh, could you Describe it at the moment as a broken country? It is essentially, and it, those of us who remember the country at its, at its zenith uh, 20 years ago, it was the second biggest economy in West Africa in the 80s. It was, uh, it was pegging level with countries like uh, Korea. I mean, it was, it was seen as the great bri bright hope of Francophone Africa. And since then, it's been a slow and more recently a rapid uh, move downwards. Is there anything in the short term that can be done? I Clearly, most people outside the country believe that uh, Laurent Gbagbo um, should be got rid of as soon as possible. But in terms of rebuilding... Well, uh, there will, I'm sure, be uh, quite a call by the World Bank and IMF. In fact, uh, Alison Ouattara, the president-elect, was uh, formerly dir deputy director general of the IMF. So he'll be able to bring in a lot of funds from the international community. I'm sure France, which has been backing him very strongly, will try to do the same. But the, the critical issue, I think, is the manner of Bagbo's going uh, and, and the, the need for it to be uh, a reconciliatory move, and that's what they've really got to do, because the, the election essentially divided the country in two. About 50% of people voted for Bagbo, 50% of people voted for Ouattara, and the Bagbo supporters feel very much that their man has been forced out by France and the international community.